Hey fishing fanatics, Fish Den 365 here. Today we're going to give ourselves a bit of a challenge. Before we get into the challenge, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. I'm challenging myself today and I thought I'd take you along with me. I'm at a lake in Pike County that's about 1100 acres and I have one rod, a five and a half foot ultralight rod. I have a couple of trout magnets and some small tiny jigs. I don't have a boat. We're just going to fish from shore. There's limited shore access on this lake, but I brought my hip boots and we're just going to see in a short period of time what we can catch on a little tiny micro jig fishing ultralight. So this lake's got perch, crappies and bluegills. It's got pickerel and bass. It's going to be a short fishing period, maybe an hour at most two. We're expecting rain so we can get rain and if we do I will be probably shutting it down then so basically I'll probably fish as long as I can before the rain starts because I really think it'll be raining before an hour or two goes by and so we'll see what we can do I'm at a boat launch right now and we're gonna start at this launch I'm just having some breakfast real quick here and we'll see what we can catch at the launch and then we'll move around to other spots on the lake we'll show you what it looks like out here so we're at the lower end of the lake you can see that uh, we have it to ourselves this morning, which is a little unusual, but I guess this rain is keeping people away. No complaints here. I like fishing on my own. So we'll get ourselves ready to go here, and we'll get out and see how we do. All right, let's see what we can do out here. First fish, folks. A little large mouth. <laughs> All right. So we got a mar large mouth on the micro jig here. All right. Well, this is new, folks. You used to be able to park here and walk down and fish, but apparently somebody was destroying some game commission property down here and ruined it for everyone. So uh, plan B is, uh, is a no-go. We're going to have to go to plan C, see what we can do. Second boat launch now. Hey, there's some little gills. Got one here. Beautiful bluegill, it looks like. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is what we are looking for here. Look at this. Beautiful bluegill. What a pretty fish. Isn't she pretty? You know, I'm all about coming out and catching big fish. I, you know, if you've watched my videos, you know that. But every now and then, you just have to come out here and do the ultralight thing and just enjoy the beauty of nature. That's a beautiful fish right there. See if you see if we can get another one. Come to the right place. This is a smaller one. This one is a pumpkin seed. The last one was a bluegill. Another pretty fish. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's always fun to see that bobber go down. What do we got this time? Oh, another beautiful bluegill. Look at this one. Oh, got away on me. That's okay. <laughs> that was a pretty one. One out there. Maybe. Yep. Oh, I missed him. I was a little late on that one. Got this one, though. Got this one. Another pumpkin seed. So we're doing... Uh, we're trading off pumpkin seeds for bluegills. Two for two. We got two pumpkins. Oops, oops, oops. Come back here, buddy. I'm not, gotta get you off the hook first. Two pumpkin seeds. Two, blue, two bluegills. You know, I'm really glad I came out and spent this time on the lake. It was a very peaceful time for me, and I was probably the most calming fishing experience that I've had in a very long time. I came up to Possum Lodge on the weekend on Saturday to clean up some leaves. I was doing that late Saturday afternoon and I was hoping I could finish on Sunday but it rained all Saturday night and so the leaves were very wet. So instead I came down to the lake on Sunday and decided to spend an hour or two and go after these bluegills and it was a very pleasant fishing excursion. If you haven't fished bluegills like this Give it a try, it's something that is very peaceful and very calming. And so I would recommend it to anyone. One thing to be aware of when you're out on the water like this and walking around on the shoreline are deer ticks. You have to be careful with uh, ticks, they're, they're out right now and they can cause Lyme disease. Basically there's two ticks that are very popular here in eastern Pennsylvania, the wood tick which some people call a dog tick, and then the deer ticks. The wood ticks do not carry Lyme disease, although they can carry other diseases. And the deer ticks, which are quite a bit smaller than the wood ticks, carry Lyme. I actually had a deer tick on my hand as I got back to my car. What I normally do when I'm out in the woods or walking along the shoreline in a lake, is as soon as I'm done, I come back home or to wherever I'm staying, and I remove all of my clothes. I check myself quite thoroughly and then I take a shower right away. So between those two things, shedding the clothes, which could have ticks on them, I usually leave them outside for a day or so. Uh, taking the shower and checking yourself for ticks, uh, I've been able to avoid Lyme, knock on wood. Thank God I've never had Lyme disease, but it can be a very nasty, debilitating disease and very hard to diagnose. So you wanna make sure you take precautions to eliminate or at least mitigate the opportunity for ticks to get into you. One thing about the deer ticks is they really need to be in you for about 24 hours in order to transmit the bacteria that causes Lyme. So if you find a tick within that period and remove it, and remove it carefully, you're not likely to get Lyme disease. But always check with a doctor if you do see a tick and remove a tick, because they still may want to give antibiotics as a precaution.
walking down to another spot on the lake here. This spot is usually difficult to get to. It'll be a long walk, but the access road is open right now because turkey season's open. And uh, they open it for that. So you can park up there and walk right down to the lake here. And we're in a spot that used to hold a lot of big bluegills, perch, pumpkin seeds, and crappies. So uh, <laughs> it's a little swampy here, but there's some sandy areas in front of us. Let's see how we can do. Hopefully we won't get caught up in quicksand. Oh, oh that's dangerous. <laughs> You've seen what we've done so far. This is a great way to introduce kids to fishing. Um, get them out here on a lake like this and with a real simple presentation. Just a ultralight spinning rod. You can use a, a spin cast rod too. This is just a real simple trout magnet. You can buy it where it comes with the, the bait, the little jig head like this, and this little float, this little green float. It's got a little stopper in it so you can adjust the length of the leader. And that's all you need. It's all you need, a simple uh, approach, but it catches a lot of fish. And if you take your, your kids to where there's some nice bluegills, they can have a great day on the water. Try lowering my float just a little bit so as not to catch so many weeds. We'll see. Oh, there we go. That's what it took. That's what it's like. They're up in these weeds. I gotta keep them out of the weeds. <sighs> Another beautiful bluegill, folks. There he is. <laughs> nice fish. That's what it took. A little adjustment on the bobber because they're they're up in these weeds and they're they're much higher up in the water column. Nice one. There's one. Drag going. This is a real pretty one. This looks like a, a real pretty one with a red breast. Look at this guy. Open up. I want to show you off. Red breast. Bluegill fishing. If you want to spend a relaxing day on the water, this is the way to do it. This is just enjoying nature, being out here with the birds and the wildlife, and catching some real pretty fish that are some hard fighters on uh, on this ultralight stuff. Get out here. Oh, there's one, one big rock if I could. Oh, we just scared a whole school of bluegills there. This is a good one. This one's fighting good. <laughs> I gotta keep them up out of these weeds. Oh, another giant. <laughs> boy, oh boy. This was worth the trip here, boy. Look at this guy. That's a nice one. These are bull gills. Another one much wider than my hand as you can see. I, you cannot see my hand behind that guy. Nice. They're fun. They're good eating too, but uh, I'm not here to eat them today. I'm here to just enjoy nature, put them back, make sure there's still some left for other fishermen, especially the kids out there. Got you. Big school of them out here. This one's a nice one. <laughs> He's down in those weeds on me. I got him there. I got him out of there. This, this is a, a big one. Look at that one. from top to bottom. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. 
There's one. Tangled up. Hope you're getting all tangled. <laughs> right on the edge of the weeds. I got one. Grabbed it when it was moving. Another good one. He wanted that trout magnet. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Pretty awesome.